A case against six suspects arrested in connection with the hijacking and murder of Kaiser Chiefs defender Luke Fleurs has been postponed to the 19th of April. The family of Luke Fleurs is addressing the media. Let's take you live to that. Be, um, not to hurt, you know, not to kill, you know, and they were just left to do whatever they please. So um, I would really love parents to get more involved with their children, you know, to, to, to just to be uh, to be there for their children, to ask them every day what how was their lives, especially the kids on school, what is going on in their school books. Yeah. Let me see what is. Can you open your bags? because um, to read with them because many children can't even read once they're on high school you know i think this thing it it it, it, it starts somewhere i know a uh, lack of um intimacy of of you know connection um with with positive vibes you know and they were left just to go out there and do whatever they please and that's why they are in this situation and that is very hard so for us that they were left to go and do just what they can and please and there was nobody who stopped them and maybe they were even like encouraged to do this by enjoying the, the, the stuff that they brought home and uh, it's just hard so for us to be able to, um, to see this, uh, what went on. Um, uh, Josh, yesterday you spoke about your mother and uh, you said that uh, you just want to support her. I see that she wasn't in court today. Um, maybe just how is she and how is she taking this? She's taking it very hard. I'm just going to keep it short and basic for you guys. All we just say, want to say from uh, on behalf of the family, um, we do forgive those that done the wrong to my brother, but we don't, we don't want any bail and we, don't want, and we just want justice for Luke. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think uh, that. What, what, so, what is the funeral in your arrangement of the funeral? Uh, the funeral will uh, be happening in Cape Town on the 20th. Um, yes, just so that um, try to sort out all those ends and try to cover all areas, um, the media or whatever. It's just a lot that we need to um, sort out and see to. And we don't even know what's going to happen when we're going to land in. In Cape Town, all we know is that there's a lot of people that would like to see us, and it's very tough for us, and it's it's it's, it's draining, it's tiring, and um, yeah. Is that this a problem with news from Africa? And don't you say you've forgiven uh, you know, the accused, and you just want justice? But uh, what does justice look like to you? No bail. For starters, no bail can start from there and then uh, they must get um, the full um, court proceedings that they uh, need to get so that everything can come out so everybody can get closure mm. to what has happened in our lives and in Luke's life and in their lives as well. So we just want everything to go according to the law with them. And after the law we would leave it in the Lord's hands. It is quite noble that you would say that you forgive them and the fact that you also look at the upbringing and the fact that they might have not had the right role models in their lives. Um, even though you have also lost a son who also had um, their whole life ahead of them. Um, how, how are you dealing with all of this? Because it has to be heartbreaking. As unexplainable. We don't like to love with hate in our heart it's not good to love with hate in our heart you know how can you love with yourself if you don't love your brother and your sister and we serve a mighty god that looks over us who guides us who give us comfort and strength you know and we follow his will that's why we are the way we are thank you very much everybody thank you, thank you. Thank you. The family of Luke Fleurs, they're saying that they're hoping to bury uh, Luke Fleurs on the 20th of April in Cape Town, saying that they've forgiven the perpetrators, but they want justice to be seen to be done, uh, that the people who did this uh, to Luke um, pay, what, you know, pay their dues. Uh, but they say that they do understand that uh, perhaps socioeconomic circumstances may be partly uh, the reason for um, this kind of crime. Uh, very forgiving indeed.